Dr. Anurag Arteka, MS Ophthalmology. Vedant Jain, MS OBG. Dr. Soumya Joshi, MS Ophthalmology. Dr. Divya Singh, MS OBG. Dr. Kajal Pandey, MS OBG. Dr. Juhi Surender, MS Ophthalmology. Neha Deshmukh, MS ENT. Dr. Janvi, MS ENT. Dr. Vishaka Malhotra, MS Traumatology and Surgery. Dr. Sairaj Jaikumar, MS Traumatology and Surgery. Gayatri Kale, MD Pathology, Aurangabad. <laughs> Dr. Shivani Chaudhary, MD Pathology, Aurangabad. <laughs> Dr. Shriya Shah, MD Pathology, Aurangabad. <laughs> Dr. Nidhi Kandi, MD Pathology, Aurangabad. <laughs> Dr. Shruti Bangar, MD Pathology, Aurangabad. Dr. Auni Mukun, MD, General Medicine. Dr. Khan Soel, MD, General Medicine. Dr. Samiksha Kadse, MD, General Medicine. Dr. Patel, MD, General Medicine. <laughs> Shaunak Sen Gupta, MD, General Medicine. <laughs> Dr. Pranita, MD, General Medicine. Dr. Taure Abhilasha, MD, General Medicine. Dr. Dharia Tana, MD, General Medicine.
Dr. Tamil Mani, MD, Respiratory Medicine. Tamil Mani, MD, Respiratory Medicine. Tanya Kutcher, MD, Dermatology. Tanya Kutcher, MD, Dermatology. Aurangabha. Dr. Sheikh Nilofa, MD, Pediatric. Arthi Chaudhary, MD, Pediatric. Dr. Rima Roy, MD, Anesthesia. Dr. Ria Shah, MD, Anesthesia. <laughs> Dr. Vimal, MD, Radio Diagnosis. Dr. Ria Gupta, MD Psychiatry. Dr. Siddhant Mathur, MD Psychiatry. Dr. Sapkar. Yash Raj, MS General Surgery. <laughs> Dr. Shano Bharat Shah, MS General Surgery. Dr. Nikita Ranaindrao, MS General Surgery. Harsh Singh, MS General Surgery. Dr. Avinash, MS Orthopedic. <laughs> Dr. 
डॉक्टर अनिरुद्ध पाटिल एम एस ऑर्थोपेडिक डॉक्टर सोमानी खुशबू एम एस ऑफ्थमोलॉजी डॉक्टर ओरकुंडे एम एस ऑफ्थमोलॉजी डॉक्टर श्वेता सावंत एम एस ओ बी जी ऋषिका राजीव सिंह एम एस ओ बी जी डॉक्टर शिवानी सिंह एम एस ओ बी जी डॉक्टर मयूरी विजय एम एस ऑफ्थमोलो ओ बी जी डॉक्टर जयदास एम एस ओ बी जी डॉक्टर फरीद खान एम एस ओ बी जी डॉक्टर ऋत्विज मस्के एम एस ओ बी जी डॉक्टर बिनिका पटेल एम एस ओ बी जी डॉक्टर अजेंके रजीव के एम एस ओ बी जी आकांक्षा डॉक्टर आकांक्षा एम एस ओ बी जी अजेंके रविकर एम एस ई एन टी डॉक्टर निधि देसाई एम एस ई एन टी डॉक्टर संग्राम एम एस ई एन टी डॉक्टर सागर जयसवाल एम डी जनरल मेडिसिन डॉक्टर मुक्ताराम शिवाजी एम डी जनरल मेडिसिन डॉक्टर थमिल मनी डॉक्टर ऑफ मेडिसिन रेस्पिरेटरी मेडिसिन
Congratulations to all. Thank you, sir. I request Dr. Prabha Dasila, Dean Faculty of Nursing and Allied, to present the MPT graduates to the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Shashank Darvi, and request him to confer the degrees on them. All the MPT graduates will rise and remain standing till the degrees are conferred. Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, I present before you the M MPT graduates who are eligible for this convocation and are present here and those who have been permitted to receive the degree in absentia. By virtue of the authority vested with me on behalf of Chancellor of MJMIHS, I hereby confer the respective degrees on all the graduates of MPT who are present here and those who have been permitted to receive the degree in absentia. The MPT graduates should come one by one on the stage to receive the degree as I read the names. Master of Physiotherapy, MGM School of Physiotherapy, Navi Mumbai. Garpure Vaidahi Surandrak. <laughs> MPT Neurophysiotherapy. Kunti Chetna Lingaraj, MPT Neurophysiotherapy. Desai Niyati Dharmendra, MPT Neurophysiotherapy. Borse Mansi Hemant. MPT Musculoskeletal Physiotherapy Bhumika Pratash MPT Musculophysiotherapy Savla Heli Nitin MPT Sports Physiotherapy Khosla Prerna Yogesh, MPT Sports Physiotherapy. <laughs> Master of Physiotherapy, Mahatma Gandhi Mission School of Physiotherapy, Aurangabad. <laughs> Yalikar Ankita, <laughs> Master of Physiotherapy, Neurophysiotherapy. Kamlakar Sampada Sandesh, MPT Neurophysiotherapy. Kadri Mustafa, MPT Neurophysiotherapy. Sheikh Saba. MPT Musculoskeletal Physiotherapy. <laughs> Fatima Qureshi, MPT Musculoskeletal Physiotherapy. <laughs> Solanki Pavan Raju, MPT. <laughs> MPT Sports Physiotherapy. Shedge Shamiksha, MPT Sports Physiotherapy. Yeah. 
Shantanu Vasant, MPT Sports Physiotherapy. Thank you, ma'am. I request Dr. Prabha Dasala, Dean, Faculty of Nursing and Allied, to present the MSc Medical and Allied Health Sciences graduates to Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Shashank Dalvi, and request him to confer the degrees on them. All the MSc Medical and Allied Health Sciences graduates will rise and remain standing till the degrees are conferred. Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, I present before you the MSc Medical and Allied Health Sciences graduates who are eligible for this convocation and are present here and those who have been permitted to receive the degrees in absentia. I request you to kindly confer on these graduates the respective degrees. By virtue of the authority vested with me on behalf of Chancellor of MGMIHS, I hereby confer the respective degrees on all the graduates of MSc, Medical and Allied Health Sciences, who are present here, and those who have been permitted to receive the degree in absentia. MSc Medical, MGM Medical College, Navi Mumbai. Nagwekar Yutika Nitin. MSc Medical Physiology. Patil Riya Sanjay, MSc Medical Biochemistry. MSc Medical Mahatma Gandhi Mission Medical College, Aurangabad, Sunavani Pawan Arun, MSc Medical Anatomy. <laughs> MSc Allied Health Sciences, MGM Medical College, Navi Mumbai, Chavan Sakshi Ashok, MSc Medical Biotechnology. Fafal Ankita, MSc Medical Biotechnology. <laughs> Taharim Fatima, MSc Biotechnology. Hingu Bhavisha, MSc Biotechnology. Kirar Amita Ashok Seema, MSc Biotechnology. Krishna Suresh Kumar, MSc Biotechnology. Mule Adhiraj, MSc Biotechnology. Pawar Divya, MSc Biotechnology. Singh Madhu, MSc Biotechnology.
सिंह मुस्कान एम एस सी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी ताजने तेजस्विनी पंडित एम एस सी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी थुमकर पूर्वा एम एस सी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी त्रिवेदी नम्रता एम एस सी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी कदम वर्षा एम एस सी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी पोलेकर साक्षी एम एस सी मेडिकल जेनेटिक्स कोल्टे अदिति मिलिन एम एस सी मेडिकल जेनेटिक्स पोहनेकर कश्मीरा एम एस सी मेडिकल जेनेटिक्स सुनावनी स्नेहा कैलाश एम एस सी मेडिकल जेनेटिक्स सुमन एम एस सी मेडिकल जेनेटिक्स वैष्णवी लक्ष्मण एम एस सी मेडिकल जेनेटिक्स कदम शिखा एम एस सी क्लिनिकल एम्ब्रियोलॉजी काले मधु एम एस सी क्लिनिकल एम्ब्रियोलॉजी मिश्रा श्रद्धा एम एस सी क्लिनिकल एम्ब्रियोलॉजी नाइक प्राची हरेश एम एस सी क्लिनिकल एम्ब्रियोलॉजी ठाकुर राजलक्ष्मी एम एस सी क्लिनिकल एम्ब्रियोलॉजी आमिन स्वाति एम एस सी क्लिनिकल न्यूट्रिशन दमानी रिद्धि एम एस सी क्लिनिकल न्यूट्रिशन श्राव्या उमेश एम एस सी क्लिनिकल न्यूट्रिशन मेमन यास्मीन एम एस सी क्लिनिकल न्यूट्रिशन ऋषिका प्रकाश एम एस सी क्लिनिकल न्यूट्रिशन शेख मरियम 
MSc Clinical Nutrition. Yashwant Rao Vaishnavi, MSc Clinical Nutrition. Vyas Sumit, MSc Molecular Biology. Yashwant Rao Mrulanili, MSc Molecular Biology. Deshmukh Bhuvneshwari, MSc Biostatistics. <laughs> Gaikwad Mansi, MSc Medical Radiology and Imaging Technology. Kamle Shweta, MSc Medical Radiology and Imaging Technology. Patil Shruti Samir, MSc Medical Radiology and Imaging Technology. Khan Mishba, MSc Optometry. Salve Sonia, MSc Optometry. Shailar Suraj, MSc Optometry. Pranita Vijay, MSc Cardiac Care Technology. Gole Amol, MSc Medical Dialysis Technology. Morade Pratik Sanjay, MSc Medical Dialysis Technology. Bobhate Purva Prakash. MS Master in Hospital Administration. Bora Bhargavi Atul, Master in Hospital Administration. Chaudhary Ujjwala. Master in Hospital Administration. <laughs> Desai Sonali Devendra, Master in Hospital Administration. Bhumi Pradeep. Master in Hospital Administration. <laughs> Jadav Mayuri, Master in Hospital Administration. <laughs> Kadam Mitali, Master in Hospital Administration. Abhay Ashok, Master in Hospital Administration. Mishra Bhavika, Master in Hospital Administration.
पटेल शिवा शिफा मोहम्मद मास्टर इन हॉस्पिटल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन श्रुति श्रीराम मास्टर इन हॉस्पिटल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन श्रुति सुनील मास्टर इन हॉस्पिटल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वारुलकर पल्लवी अनिल मास्टर इन हॉस्पिटल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन घोरपड़े प्राची नेल्सन मास्टर इन पब्लिक हेल्थ खामकर देवांश मास्टर इन पब्लिक हेल्थ गड़े रुनिका मास्टर इन पब्लिक हेल्थ गौर काजोल मास्टर इन पब्लिक हेल्थ एमएससी अलाइड हेल्थ साइंसेस महात्मा गांधी मिशन मेडिकल कॉलेज औरंगाबाद अनुराग पांडे मास्टर इन साइंस क्लिनिकल रिसर्च बच्चुअर मयूरी मास्टर इन मेडिकल डायलिसिस टेक्नोलॉजी शेख फिरदौस मास्टर इन मेडिकल डायलिसिस टेक्नोलॉजी थैंक यू सर मैम I request Dr. Rajesh B. Goel, Registrar, to present the PhD graduates to Honorable Vice Chancellor and request him to confer the degrees on them. The PhD graduates will rise and remain standing till the degree is conferred on them. Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, I present before you. the phd graduates who are eligible for this convocation and who are present here and those who have been permitted to receive the degree in absentia i request you to kindly confer on them the phd degrees by virtue of the authority vested with me on behalf of chancellor of mjmihs i hereby confer the respective degree on the successful graduates of phd who are present here and those who have been permitted to receive the degree in absentia i call on the phd graduates one by one on the stage to receive the degrees या मानकर माधवी जोगेश पीएचडी इन हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल एजुकेशन विजय कुमार शाह पीएचडी इन मेडिकल बायोकेमिस्ट्री priyanka rathod phd in medical biotechnology
Pooja Vijay Sharma, PhD in Medical Microbiology. Akansha Chauhan, PhD in Medical Microbiology. Shewale Rajendra Narayan, PhD in Orthopedics. Muhammad Tariq Iqbal Abdul Kayyum, PhD in Dermatology. <laughs> Sanjay Gudatwar, PhD in Medical Biochemistry. Thank you, sir. I request the registrar, Dr. Rajesh B. Goel, to request the Honorable Chief Guest to felicitate the outstanding students who have not only performed exceptionally well in academics, but have also shown an excellent record of discipline, punctuality, behavior, and participation in extracurricular activities. I request Honorable Chief Guest to felicitate the outstanding students with gold medals, chancellor's medals, and certificates of merits. I request all the medal recipients to please come on the stage one by one as I take their name. Chancellor's Medal for MDMS examination in pre and paraclinical sciences to Kandi Nidhi Sirish from MJ Medical College Aurangabad for being the best postgraduate in pre and paraclinical sciences MD Pathology Batch 2020. Chancellor's Medal for MDS Examination in Clinical Sciences, Ajinkya Ravirkar from MJ Medical College, Aurangabad, for being the best postgraduate in Clinical Sciences, MS Autolaryngology, Batch 2020. Chancellor's Medal for MBBS to Shroff Nita Gautam from MJ Medical College, Aurangabad for being the best graduate in MBBS Batch 2017. Chancellor's Medal for Best Postgraduate in Physiotherapy to Qureshi Maliha Fatima Kushro Ahmed from MGM School of Physiotherapy, Aurangabad for being the best postgraduate in MPT, Batch 2020. <laughs> Chancellor's Medal for BPT and BPO2 Ubhare Apeksha Vilas from MGM Institutes of University Department of Prosthetics and Orthotics, Navi Mumbai, for being the best graduate in BPO, Batch 2018. Chancellor's Medal for Best Postgraduate in MSc Biomedical Courses, two years, to Singh Madhu 
Rang Bahadur Mira from MGM School of Biomedical Sciences, Navi Mumbai for being the best postgraduate in MSc Medical Biotechnology two years program batch 2021. Dr. A. M. Vare gold medal to Muskan Agarwal from MJ Medical College, Navi Mumbai for securing highest marks in anatomy, first year MBBS, batch 2017. Dr. R. D. Kulkarni gold medal to Kolhe Vaishnavi Sunil from MJ Medical College, Navi Mumbai for securing highest marks in pharmacology subject, batch 2017. Dr. C.A. Franklin Gold Medal to Prabhu Anusha Nikol from MJ Medical College, Navi Mumbai for securing highest marks in forensic medicine, Batch 2017. Dr. L. H. Hiranandani Gold Medal to Shivansh. Yadav from MG Medical College, Navi Mumbai for securing highest marks in ENT, batch 2017. MGM IHS gold medal to Shroff Nita Gautam from MJ Medical College Aurangabad for securing highest marks in general medicine, batch 2017. Yeah, I request Nita to be there to receive the MGMHS gold medal to Shroff Nita Gautam from MG Medical College Aurangabad for securing highest marks in general surgery. Once again, the medal to Shroff Nita Gautam for securing the highest marks in pediatrics in 2017. Yeah. Nita, you be there because the last medal, the gold medal, it is being shared amongst three candidates for securing the highest marks in obstetrics and gynecology, the batch 2017. So I request Shroff Nita, Muskan Agarwal, and Shruti Sarang. Shruti is not there? Okay. Muskan, please. Can be there. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Muskan, she's sharing the medal for the highest marks in OBGY, batch 2017.
That's it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I extend my heartiest congratulations to all the medal winners. I now request Registrar Dr. Rajesh Goel to initiate the process of exhortation. All graduates shall rise and remain standing till Honorable Vice Chancellor delivers on behalf of Honorable Chancellor the exhortation and shall be seated only after Honorable Vice Chancellor takes his seat. I request all of you to please stand up. All the graduates who have been given degrees. On this occasion, as Vice Chancellor of MGM IHS, on behalf of Honorable Chancellor, MGM Institute of Health Sciences, I would like you to remember and act upon the words which I am going to speak now. Speak the truth. Do not deviate from the rules of morality. Do not deviate from the path of learning. Do not deviate from your duties. Do not neglect your obligation towards moral and material well-being of yourself, of your society, and of the entire mankind. Respect knowledge and wisdom and try to gain the same more and more. River your mother, river your father, river your teacher, river your nation. Perform only such acts as are blameless, respect and follow the noble deeds performed by our ancestors. Always follow your conscience. Thank you, sir. I request the graduates to take their seats. I would now like to request the Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. Nitin Kadam, to introduce the chief guest and request him to deliver the convocation address. Honorable Chancellor, sir, <clears throat> Honorable Chief Guest, and Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, dignitaries on the dais and dignitaries of dais, parents and graduates. <clears throat> I welcome each one of you to the 18th convocation of Mahatma Gandhi Mission Institute of Health Sciences. It gives me a great pleasure and privilege to introduce the distinguished chief guest for today's event, Dr. Bhagwat Karad, the Honorable Union Minister of State for Finance, Government of India. We feel honored to have him amongst us today. Sir's academic, social, and political journey is very interesting and inspiring to the young graduates. He has made a very impactful contribution in both medical profession as well as the political and social space. Dr. Karad is basically the first pediatric surgeon from the Maratwada and one of the finest pediatric surgeons in the state and India. He holds MBBS and MS General Surgery from Government Medical College, Aurangabad, and MCH in Pediatric Surgery from KEM Medical College Hospital, Mumbai. 
sir's contribution to academics as a teacher, as a director, educationist, educationist and member of the various boards of universities is a profound. In April 2020, he was elected as a member of Parliament Rajya Sabha. And 7th July 2021, Dr. Karar took oath as a Union Minister of State for Finance Government of India. <laughs> Dr. Karar served in many prestigious positions. To name few, I'll just mention few. He was a mayor of Aurangabad Municipal Corporation for two terms, 1999 and 2006. Director, Rural Electrification Corporation, Government of India. Committee member on Petroleum and Natural Gas Commission. Chairman, Marathwada Statutory Board, Development Board. Consultative Committee for the Ministry of Power and Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Being a highly qualified doctor, and a finance minister. Sir has left his impression on health budget 2022-2023 by allocating 82,000 crore to Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, almost 80 to 20% more than 2020 to 2021 health budget. <laughs> and this budget is to be utilized for centrally sponsored public health schemes and building a sustainable healthcare infrastructure and system for handling increasing healthcare needs of our country. I'll just mention a few. There are so many achievements, but I'll mention a few. Some of the key budget allocations on health by Honorable Minister are Pradhan Mantri Swast Suraksha Yojana was allocated rupees 10,000 crores, an increase of 43% of compared to the last budget, this is the boost, this is for the boost of medical education infrastructure and set up aims across country. Being a doctor, he has an all round exercise of this. And for the human resources for health and medical education was allotted, allotted 7,500 crore, an increase by 56% from last year's budget and this is to bridge the shortage of healthcare professional in our country. The budget allocation for strengthening of National Center for Disease Control, NCDC, on the lines of CDC Atlanta, to augment the disease surveillance of zoonotic diseases and tropical diseases after the corona pandemic. The allocation of 6,412 crore for Bharat Pradhan Mantri Yojana to boost the Aishman Bharat digital mission, digital mission for developing digital health ecosystem in the country. And last two now, allocation of 5,152 crore for Bharat Health Mission to improve the primary, secondary, and tertiary healthcare services. He also allocated the 3,200 crore to the Department of Health Research and this is an increase of 20% as compared to the 2021-22. And this is how it makes a great difference when a qualified professional holds the planning, post of planning and allocation of the resources. And we have seen the impact of, apart from such professional qualities, Dr. Karad is very humble, approachable, and doubt to earth person. I'll just give a few examples of his personality. After taking oath of ministry, sir, you hosted a get together for your first MBBS batchmates on the launch of your, uh, despite his busy schedule, just after one phone call from one of our colleague, Dr. Karad participated in a felicitation of our senior teacher, Dr. Professor Dr. V. N. Ingre from GMC Aurangabad. And the most interesting and learning for the graduates, today's graduates, it is interesting to know how recently, even after becoming a minister, you saved lives of two passengers at the airport by giving a prompt CPR on the airport. 
Sir, you are this human service are well appreciated by the country. Lastly, I'm fortunate, I must express this. Vice Chancellor and me are fortunate enough to be your junior colleagues in GMC Aurangabad. Yeah. Sir, your gracious presence here at this event will continue to inspire budding doctors, budding nurses, and healthcare professionals for years to come. With this brief introduction, I welcome you, sir, to address this 18th convocation of Mahatma Gandhi Mission Institute of Health Sciences. Thank you very much. Please, sir. Today, on occasion of 18th MGM Health University Convocation on the dais, Sri Kamal Kishore Kadamji, Honorable Chancellor MGM and Chairman MGM, Sri Shashikant Dalviji, Vice Chancellor of MGM Health University, Sri Ankush Rao Kadamji, Chancellor of MGM University, Dr. Nitin Kadamji, Pro Vice Chancellor of MGM University, Dr. P.M. Jadavji, Vice Chancellor of MGM Trust, sorry, Vice Chairman of MGM Trust, Dr. Sudhir Kadamji, former Vice Chancellor of MGM Health University, Dr. A.G. Shroff, Medical Director, MGM Medical College, and our teacher also, when we were a medical student, Dr. R.B. Bora, Dean Faculty of Medicines, undergraduate, Dr. G.S. Narsitti, Dean Faculty of Medicines, PG, postgraduate, MGM, Rajesh Goyal, Registrar, MGM, Pranita Semant, Chief Executive Officer, MGM, Dr. Praveen Shingare, Member of and Director of MGM, all the dignitaries on the dais, dignitaries of the dais, and all the undergraduate, I will not say students now, but the doctors who have obtained MBBS degree, and the doctors who have obtained postgraduate degree, first of all, I congratulate everybody for getting a degree in a Nobel profession of the health. It is my great honor and pleasure to address you from MGM campus and MGM Health University. This campus is one of the best campus in India because after becoming a minister, I had an occasion to visit a number of education institutes, but this is one of the best campus, and I will say it is the most elite campus in health services are concerned. This campus is established in 1982 by Honorable Sri Kamal Kishore Kadamji and Honorable Sri Ankush Rao Kadamji with futuristic vision to provide qualitative education and applying innovative and dynamic techniques in different education fields and particularly in the health services also. As everybody knows, being a doctor, we have to work in health to cure the health diseases and to prevent the health diseases also. This trust has focused on providing health care services, technical services, engineering services, as well as school and higher education in Sambhajinagar, in Mumbai, in Nanded, and different parts of the country also. It's the best postgraduate training program 
and world famous research facilities are available in this campus that i know it is one of the best teaching hospital and center for specialized and super specialized medical fields the seats in this medical campus and new mumbai campus are around 500 as well as the allied sciences medical sciences such as bsc nursing and super specialist seats like mch neurology dm cardiology and different super specialties are available and the different medical allied facilities are also in the super specialty are all available in this campus and the new mumbai campus all the doctors who have obtained degree today are going to start their career some will start their career they will go in the private practice some will start their career by joining the hospitals and ultimately you are serving to the humanity and i think no profession is better than the health profession to serve the humanity you relieve the pain of the patient and you help to control and to help the emotions of the relatives also you are the elite and the elect with the talents skills and knowledge needed to safeguard the improvement throughout the india's health system you are leading light and much more you are a symbol of the spirit and aspiration of modern indian society a symbol of this government's desire to cultivate talent reward excellence and reach for the world's highest standards in other words you are a symbol of india's aspirations to stand shoulder to shoulder with the giants i doubt there are many medical graduates anywhere in the world who have benefited from such privilege education india's health system is a uh, important and yet the country focuses on the crippling the status of the doctors you know during the war between russia and ukraine around 22000 indians are lifted from ukraine and brought to the india out of these 22000 20000 were medical students and the medical students who have gone for education from our country to ukraine to take education considering this view the central government has decided to start a medical college at every district because still although some people are saying the doctors are more but we have to improve our health care and health system if you consider the number of the medical college when india become independent there are only 19 medical college 19 in 2014 if you see the number there were 347 medical colleges within this 10 years of span the medical colleges are increased numbers are increased from 347 to more than 700 if you consider the mbbs admission seats first mbbs the seats are at the time of 2014 there were only were getting admissions but now more than 1 lakh students are getting admissions not only that the post graduate seats are doubled and as uh, my friend dr nitin kadam has said the budget for medical education and for health system is also increased as one of the dr dalvi was telling that they are planning to have health at 2050 means the what are the challenges in the health sector at 
2015. We in the government of India always think how will be our country at 2047, that is 100 years of independence. Similarly, the Health Institute from MGM, they are also thinking to improve the health and not to only improve, but the how our country will be at the 2050. Considering its health sciences and development of the health, I will congratulate the management and the staff particularly for having a always number one grade in different inspections from the central government and state government, particularly NAC, A++, and all the ranking process, these institutions are always on the top. And this is only, only, and only because of the dedications and close observations from the management, particularly Kadam brothers. They are very careful and very watchful to develop the institutions. At the same time, I congratulate them for taking the precautions of everyone, means the class four staffs, technical staffs, professors, and at the time, the at the time, all students also. I want to mention here, as uh, Dr. Nitin Kadam has talked about the budget, there are different schemes of the government, and in the government, the things which are imported are given more chan chances or more facilities to for the productions. Similarly, in medical fields, certain things are not manufactured in India. Particularly, suppose the ventilators, different scopes. In that case, the PLS scheme is declared by the government product link incentives, where somebody manufactures in India the export charges will be minimum and not only that the interest from the banks also from the less because this is to pro promote this is to promote the production of the medical equipment in india at the same time i want to mention here i know being a doctor the medicines prices are if you compare with the general medicines and branded medicines, the prices of the branded medicines are high. So, the central government has started a generic medical stores which will help to the poor patients. And I, I will say that the prices of the generic medicines and the branded medicines, if you compare, it is 10 times more in the branded medicines. So, this is just to improve our health services, health of the poor people. And I want to mention here, by skilling the health allied colleges, suppose uh, as he has mentioned, the nursing colleges, they are, they are there. Milo. 